Samina, I was at the Economic Club of New York when Ma addressed. He was one of the first businessmen and certainly, I believe, the first China businessman to address the Economic Club. And it was really a sight to see. The man operates in a different sphere than we're used to from China businessmen. Definitely. He speaks in very lofty terms. He's very outspoken. He said recently at the Investor Day that the goal is not to turn Alibaba into an e-commerce giant, but into one of the world's biggest global economies, reaching 10 million small businesses and 2 billion consumers. So China clearly is only a small part of that, maybe 40 percent. The rest of the growth they need to chase abroad. So this big conference in Detroit, it's a lofty goal. It seems uh, very altruistic for, for the United States, but it's also part of his plan for global domination in this uh, e-commerce sphere. Yeah, and I'm sure he has the ear of Chinese authorities, so it's not like this is toothless. But does he really mean that he's going to create one million jobs, and does he really intend to create them in the United States? You know, it's all about how you count it. Yeah. One million is obviously an enormous number, and Alibaba is not actually hiring one million people. The concept here is that by getting these small businesses to sign on Alibaba because of the added commerce, they'll have to add one more employee as a result of that, at least. Not to say all the indirect jobs like logistics and supply chain. But when I talk to these small businesses, they say it's impossible to calculate how much Alibaba has added to their commerce. A lot of these small businesses are already selling to multiple markets and they have to increase their staff as a result of global expansion in general, not just because of Alibaba. Yes, and also you, you went to Conchahawk in Pennsylvania, and I wanted to say that because I've been there and it's beautiful, but they, the company that you spoke with, they talked about not having brand awareness in China and how it's just so difficult. So it must cost a lot for a small mm -hmm. business. And then a lot of trust needs to go in Jack Ma's direction as well. Exactly. I think an important distinction here is that Alibaba is merely a platform. It's not as easy as simply starting a new sales channel and listing on Amazon, which has created its own logistics network to standardize delivery. With Alibaba, if you're a small business, you have to go to third-party service providers to do everything from translation to dealing with regulation, dealing with logistics, how to ship actually to the Chinese consumer. So it's actually a big risk and burden for consumers, for sellers to join the platform.